to you our very first police chief, Mr. Gary Yandura. Um, Gary comes with a lot of experience, 38 years uh, in the law enforcement business. He is a, um, a seasoned police chief and has been the chief with the city of College Park. Currently, he is serving as the chief in the city of Hiram. Uh, he comes to us from Chicago in his early days with more than 20 years of experience uh, with the city of Lake Forest. We are looking forward to Gary building the first department of uh, police services for Brookhaven. Uh, as you all know, a study was prepared uh, for the city of Brookhaven looking at police services and trying to determine what the best level of service would be. The study recommends 54 officers. Uh, we are not going to hold Gary to that because as a professional, he will determine what is the best level of service for this city. And as the city manager in charge with the responsibility of selecting and appointing the city manager, I'll make sure that he has that freedom and is empowered to build his department in order to ensure uh, the safety of all of our citizens, residents and businesses alike. So we are very pleased to announce within less than 100 days of starting this city, the start of a, a new police chief for the city of Brookhaven. I'm very honored to introduce to you Mr. Gary Yandura, and I will now turn it over to Mayor J. Max Davis. Thank you all. <clears throat> Today is a historic day because it is the start of Brookhaven becoming a safer community. And um, the safety of Brookhaven's residents is paramount um, to the city of Brookhaven and to our new Chief Yandura. Uh, Ch Chief Yandura's record of reducing crime uh, where he, in, in the city of College Park, where uh, he served for 10 years, is uh, extraordinary. Uh, crime was reduced significantly during his 10-year tenure. He is now uh, until becoming the Brookhaven chief, he was he's the chief in the city of Hiram, Georgia. Uh, he's credited re re reducing crime there as well. Uh, chief Yandura started his law enforcement career at Lake in Lake Forest, Illinois, which is about 30 uh, miles north of Chicago, where he spent 24 years. He is a graduate of the FBI Academy and is certified by the Georgia Police Officer Standards and Training Council. He has a master's in public administration from Roosevelt University in Chicago, and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from the University of Illinois. It is my honor now to introduce Gary Andor as Brookhaven's first police chief. Y'all please get back. Thank you. I'm, I'm humbled and honored to be chosen as police chief in the city of uh, Brookhaven. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting things started. Um, as the mayor and city manager both advised, Things are moving at extraordinary pace, and we like to keep that going to get our citizens and our businesses kept safe here. Uh, right now, we're going to be in the process of um, analyzing all the data, uh, trying to um, choose the top management staff, and, and get into the, all, all the basics of, of starting a police department. Uh, we're really looking forward to doing all that by analyzing the information and, and putting people in place in the right places. Um, I'll closely be working with city staff, um, with city managers, city council, and the mayor, and uh, what we'd like to do too is get heavy involvement from the community to find out exactly what their needs and expectations are, and we look forward to working with all of them to provide the best services that we possibly can. So with that being said, we look at having officers on the street this summer sometime, um, and we're, we're analyzing how many we're going to need and, and where they're going to be placed. So thank you. We'll open it to questions now, guys. <coughs> Come on, Melissa. <laughs> Chief, is this the first time you've had a had a startup operation that you've had? You're going from from ground up. As far as a startup, yes. Uh, what kind? What did, what What are you looking What are you looking for? What are you, are you? Actually, I've already been in contact with numerous chiefs of the area, the departments that have had initial startups. Um, Chief from Sandy Springs, the chief from Dunwoody, um, chief from Johns Creek. Um, so uh, I'm a firm believer in not reinventing the wheel, and, and I'm a believer also in sharing resources and, and uh, working together and forming partnerships with the other agencies, which we've already started in the initial stages. Yeah, and there's some of these groups, it's a lot to build from the ground up from your own investigative unit to SWAT team. Do you plan on maybe partnering in some of the, with some of these other smaller groups in the area, smaller organizations, maybe on things like SWAT, that kind of thing? Yeah, Sandy Springs and Alpharetta and, and a lot of those groups actually started up and, and I was used to, when I was actually in Illinois, we started up a combined unit like that. 
and I'm a firm believer with the partnerships in that you could actually utilize a small portion of your resources and, and come up with a better product. What's the timeline on hiring? When are we going to start to see some of these jobs open for folks? As soon as possible. Uh, we're actually reviewing some candidates right now. Uh, the city's actually receiving some information. But, uh, Chief, you touched on it a bit. What's the uh, first order of business for? I think it's to get the command staff in line so that you have a good basis to pick and, and assist in, in starting this new department. Um, and then you, what you have to do is look at your long-term items as far as needs of the department and needs of the city. So equipment needs that, that are going to take a long time to get in here after being ordered. What do you see as some of the biggest challenges um, in working with them? I think layout of the city, you've, you've got, um, it's about six miles in length and about two and a half miles, three miles wide. Um, so it's just the area coverages. It's a it's a diverse community. Um, you have all different families you're going to have to monitor and, and provide protection for. And uh, I believe in proactive policing, so that's that's one of the things we're going to be looking at too. Personally, how do you feel about making history? <laughs> we will never forget. No matter all that. Okay. I'm not really making history. I'm. I think this is the sixth recent city that um, has. Into the new police department, so I've got a lot of resources to, to back up and look at. So, Chief, you're making this. <laughs> what are people going to see different versus dealing currently with county police versus having their own local department? Well, we're going to be confined within the city of Brookhaven, uh, so we won't be getting called out outside of the city area. Um, I'm a firm believer residents and the businesses are going to expect visibility of the police department, and we're going to provide that. That's one of the priorities. I mean, perception is, is just as important as um, the actual crime statistics that come about. Do you have a hard date when you'll have your first cars on the street yet? We're looking at the summer sometime. Uh, that's just a rough idea right now. How does your past experience uniquely qualify you to be the chief of police of a municipality with a majority minority citizenry? And as some of your experience with College Park and some of the other places, how do you plan on working through that here in Brookhaven? Well, you, first off, you actually meet with the different groups within the community. Um, we'll see what their needs are and we'll work with them, you know, whatever group or whatever area it might be. And then um, we'll, we'll also try to hire to meet that diversity uh, so that we have people who can communicate with the people in those areas too. So, You mentioned uh, you're a, a proponent of proactive policing. Do you have any kind of plan for any, uh, or thoughts, early plan for some kind of community-based neighborhood type of uh, patrol plan or anything like that? Any of the previous uh, departments I worked for, are I actually initiated the um, in the departments the uh, uh, citizens police academies neighborhood watches. Um, we had business watches. Uh, there's a lot of technology out there right now too that that will assist us. We've got various um, calling programs that will notify people if, if something happens in our neighborhood. Um, all this is done in conjunction so that the. The residents and the different community groups that we're going to be um, working with have some resource on getting information through and uh, we like to share all that information because the police department can't work on their own. We need the help of the entire community and business. You guys Anything have any else? questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Seriously, we appreciate it.